Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to configure a static IP address in Windows 11. So Microsoft has the uh, new settings options for Windows 11, uh, but you could still configure your IP address using the old way if you want to do it that way as well. So you might be used to going to, you know, control panel. And then to network and sharing settings. And then change adapter settings, right clicking on it, properties, you know, double clicking on it if you want IPv4 or 6, and then putting in the IP address and DNS information. But with Windows 11, you could also do that from the Windows 11 settings. So, easiest way to do that is to right click on your network connection. You could also go into the settings itself and navigate to it, but this will take you right to network and internet settings. And then from here, you could see various information about your network connection. But what you want to do is go to the advanced network settings and then find your adapter. So in my case, I'm using an Ethernet hardwired adapter here, but if you're using a uh, wireless connection, that should be here as well. Then you can just click on that and you'll see that it's enabled and information about how long it's been up and, you know, bytes sent to receive. You can rename it. So what you want to do is go to view additional properties. And then here you have your IP assignment and DNS server assignment. Right now they're set to automatic GACP. So if you want to change it, all you got to do is click on edit and change this to manual. Decide if you want to use IPv4 or v6. And then once you turn it on, you'll be able to put in your IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS, and so on. And then just save it and you'll be done. And then also if you want to just change the DNS settings by themselves, you can click on edit, change that to manual and do the same type of thing there for your DNS servers. So pretty simple. So once again, just uh, right click on your network connection, you know, ethernet or wired it'll, or wireless, it'll take you to the same place. Go down to advanced, pick your connection, additional properties, and then, you know, edit whichever one you want or both, and you should be good to go. Or you could stick with the control panel method until Microsoft decides they're going to take that away, so you never know. So might be a good idea to learn how to do it from here as well. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.